And let's just, we'll start standing and kind of moving around, walking in place, maybe with, you know, a little bit of a bounce, coming down on your toes first. I'm going to have a little bit of a bounce when I bring my heels down. It's going to be just enough to, to move all of the joints in the body. And something as passive as that is still helping to, to warm those, the joints up. Coming to, to stillness with the feet, we'll sort of warm up from, from the bottom up today. So lifting one heel and just turning that foot in a circle and feeling that movement. You know, you're going to feel it on, on your toes and the base of the toes, the ankle, even a little bit in the hip. We go in the other direction. And just letting letting your both knees be soft here. And now just pressing down into the toes. You're rolling your foot from side to side. And the other side, lifting one heel. Turning, turning the foot in a circle. One direction and then the other. And then just pressing down, pressing down into the toes. I'm joined today by my son's dog, Franklin. Okay, now just bending the knees and circling the knees. You can feel your weight shift from one side of the foot to the other, or the other direction. And again, they're just these little moves of all these, all these joints in the feet and the ankles. And standing up and just moving from side to side. So letting one hand move down and we're moving the hips and also moving the back, bending it to the side. And then moving the hips in circles. You can feel that, that move. I can feel that move in the side of my hips and in the back. The other direction. And then the moving the shoulder. So exaggerating the shoulders. Now the hips will continue moving a little bit, but big circles with the upper body, the other direction. Yeah. Twisting. You 
can even feel this twist, you know, in your feet, the legs a little bit. So now the, the back moves side to side, moves twisting motion. And then moving, moving the arms, sort of loosening up the wrists. Loosening up the fingers. Stretching the hands wide and making fists. And the fingertips and thumb tips together and pressing in a little bit. And then the backs of the hands. And turning, turning the hands. I don't know how to describe this. You just do what I do. Now the shoulders, the shoulders come down a few times. <clears throat> and then back shoulder rolls with one side and then the other. And then going forward, kind of lean into this. And then back shoulder rolls with both shoulders at the same time. Front. Then with the hands on the shoulders, Bringing the elbows together and then back. Together, I'm just pausing here. Feeling that stretch in the upper back and then the elbows back and feeling the shoulder blades sort of coming together. And then from here, just bending side to side. Pull your stomach in. And then looking up and down. And pausing when you look up. And just moving your jaw around, opening your mouth wide, pushing your, your mouth and your chin forward. Like exaggerating the, the vowels, ah, uh, ooh, ee. Coming back to neutral, and then looking side to side. From side to side, like a pendulum. When you're coming toward the shoulder, so don't don't lift your shoulder up 
the ear, let your shoulders stay relaxed. Pause on one side. And then turn your head a little so that your gaze goes toward the ceiling and then toward the floor. Okay. Times and you're not don't don't force your neck back to neutral and then the other way. So and then again looking toward the ceiling and then the floor. And stay within your comfort zone. We're not trying to get more movement in the neck. back to neutral and then rolling the head and again that doesn't these don't have to be big moves one direction and then the other and then hinging so letting the hips come back, letting the weight come back toward the heel, letting your hands and your head just hang toward the floor and little pulses here. And just gently twisting. Your, if your feet touch the floor, I mean, your hands touch the floor, sort of walking your hands from one side to the other. And if they don't, that's okay. Do what you're comfortable with. Coming halfway up, bending and straightening the knees, let your hands be on your, on your thighs, and then round the back up, let your head come up last. We'll just pause here, take a few, take a few breaths. Okay, why don't we why don't we do some planks? We'll just go right into, into this part of the of the practice. So using a chair or the wall or a table, coming into a plank position. And pull your stomach in, tighten your gluteal muscles, and let your jaw be relaxed. And bending one knee and just raising this foot behind you, stay on what this side. And feeling the muscles. In the low back, the gluteal muscles. In your stomach tight. And now the other foot. And keep your foot flat. Keeping the, the muscles in the legs engaged. Then staying on this side, now raising the knee and the foot to the side. Up and down a few times. We can feel different, different gluteal muscles working here. Tricky work out and we're going to do that with the other side tricky because these are such big muscles so we're actually expending a lot of energy even though we're going pretty slowly I break a sweat just going out to my mailbox so
that's not my that my goal right now is to break the sweat. It's not my goal. All right, and then walking this in. And it's kind of walking in place. And let these muscles loosen up a little bit. And then we're coming back. And from here, lifting one foot behind you and extending the opposite hand in front, pausing here for a moment and then switching sides in your stomach tight and your legs engaged. Noticing all of the all of the activity involved in balancing all these little muscles, by your ankles, your arm. And then you've got your hand up, stretch the hand into the space in front of you and push your heel into the space behind you. And then doing that on the other side. Letting your face be relaxed. You know, your gaze is kind of toward the, the chair seat. And one more here. And then locking it in. Loosening up your hips and wrists. And Coming back into the plank. And we'll do a T raise. So turning hips and shoulders, reaching for the ceiling, and then going in the other direction. Just feeling this. Long stretch. So the whole arm stretching across the chest. Don't hold your breath. Do once again on each side. And then letting your heels come down, letting your hips come back, dropping your shoulders, and just kind of pulsing the legs here, and then straightening one leg and then the other. Feel this. Stretching out some of the, the muscles in the low back. And we're walking this in. And slowly coming back upright. Okay. And we'll do a the lunge complex. So so on one on one leg, forward, the side and back, and then the same on the other leg, and doing this at a pace that that you're comfortable with.
then we'll do curtsy lunges. Keeping your stomach pulled in. And your face relaxed. Don't stop breathing. And I'm going to pick up a couple of weights. And Continuing with a curtsy lunge and a biceps curl. Pulling the stomach in. And holding, holding the weights loosely. If you find that you're sort of gripping the weights really tight. Just seeing if you can loosen your fingers up or maybe go down a little bit on the weight. Now coming to, to stillness and just raising and lowering the shoulders. I've got my feet about shoulder width apart. The knees are soft. And now a little bit of a hinge. And pulling the weights up, extending and down. So we often do this in a plank and back a row standing. Keep breathing. And letting the gaze be toward the floor. I uh, just want to keep our neck neutral. And then from here, raising the weights to the side. Keep your elbows bent. Sitting in this little bit of a hinge where the weight is more up toward the heels. And straightening up. And then just bringing the weights about waist height. Now I'm going to have my palms facing one another and just small movements. So I'm moving my hand more in front of me and then a little bit of an angle. my elbows back and now I'm turning my palms down pulling my stomach in smiling breathing and palms up all right down for a moment. And just moving the arms, be pulsing the arms back, palms facing back. And 
bringing the hands forward, the backs of the hands together, sort of rounding the upper back. I'm going to come into the chair. Bring one weight with me. Sitting for the front of the chair. And then leaning back. flat on the ground and first with the weight you know, close to the chest just gently twisting side to side really pull the stomach in Now go one side, the other side, pause, extend the arms in front. The belly tight. Right, I'm gonna put the weight down and put my hands on my legs and pressing down. So I'm pushing down on my legs, put my feet back a little bit more just so that my hands are sort of right over my ankles. Relaxing my shoulders away from my ears, pulling my stomach in. Pushing down and then raising one foot and then the other. So pressing down. You can just feel all the muscles in the arms engaged here, your legs. And now just raising one heel and then the other. It's still really pushing down. Breathing. And coming to stillness. Loosening your arms up a little bit. Bringing the arms in front. Behind in front. Behind. And maybe just a, a cat cow, a seated cat cow. So with your hands on your legs, sort of pulling back. On your knees, looking for the ceiling, arching the back a little. Taking a deep breath in. And then as you breathe out, rounding the back, you know, folding forward, so you're folding the air out of your lungs. You breathe in, open the chest. Ah. <sighs> Breathe out, compressing the chest. Just once again. This is just a great exercise, especially for kind of loosening the back up again. If it's if it's been tight. And now we'll do some exercises seated and we'll sort of use this um, seal jacks as we've done standing, but just seated. So 
You can lean back a little bit if you'd like, keeping your stomach tight. In some ways, these moves while seated really isolate the core muscles because we're not using a lot of the muscles that we might use just to be standing up. And really push, push the hands out, push the feet out. And now we do hands overhead and foot to the side. And moving the same. Hand and foot, you know, both right hand and foot, and then the left hand and foot, bringing the arm overhead, not in front. Now, keeping the feet wide and together, and you can even offer a little resistance with your hands, or a little bit of help, depending on how you're feeling. I'm still trying to lean back a little bit, just to really keep my stomach engaged. Keep breathing. Checking in on your shoulders now and then, making sure that the shoulders are not creeping up toward the ears. You want your shoulders relaxed and back. And now with both feet out, Coming down to touch opposite hand to your feet. Keep breathing. A lot of my effort is just not Slipping off the front of the chair. And coming back to seal jacks, seated, seated jacks. Breathing. do sort of a jumping jack, hands up, and then under both legs.
Breathing out on the hard part. Now, just lifting one foot and straightening the leg and bringing the foot back, keeping that leg up if you can. You can even give it a little support if you want. Or putting the foot down if that's, that's what's right for you. Okay, switch legs. And like you're moving that leg through resistance. Keep your shoulders down. <laughs> Every time I say that, it's because I find my own shoulders are inching up. Okay, and then lifting knees high, and bringing hands toward the knees. So pulling down with, with emphasis. And now with the hands behind the head, just coming to the side as far as you can. Again, trying not to lean forward. And now bringing a knee up and the opposite elbow toward that knee. And coming back to skipping out and in.
stretch out a little bit, rounding, pushing my hands forward, and bringing the elbows back, looking up, and again, rounding, forward, and coming back to standing, walk around a little bit with your breath. And return to the normal if it's if it's fast at all, get a drink of water. We'll come into this yoga flow. So again, using the chair as if we were going into a plank, but just let your feet be flat, hips back. A little pulsing of the knees here. And then bringing the body forward and going past the plank. Look up toward the ceiling. Pause here, take a couple of breaths here. And then again, letting the hips go back. Letting the shoulders drop, pressing your hands down into the chair. Pausing here and then coming back toward the plank and going past that. Pausing here and then just walking this in. Now moving, moving your arms. We'll do a couple of more moves here just for fun. So I'm taking a wide stance. This will be this kind of golf swing type of move, holding the weight in both hands, bending one knee, bringing the weight toward the inside of that foot, straightening the knee, bring the, bringing the weight up at an angle. You can just repeat this a few times on this side. You can go as, as fast or slow as you like. I like the, really the balance control that I have to work on when I go slowly. Some people prefer more reps and that's okay too, as long as it doesn't make you dizzy. If it makes you dizzy to watch the weight, don't do that. Keep your gaze in that general direction, but let it focus on something that's not moving, you know, like a crack in the floor or a curtain or something like that. And coming to center. Pause in here and then the other side. Good. 
Keep breathing. Keep your face relaxed. We'll do one more on this side. And then bring this weight down. We'll do a few hinge and swim. So letting the weight go toward the heels, the hips come back. Stretching the hands out and then bringing them back. And then this is just a really nice move to sort of let the, the back relax. The, the shoulders and the hips move without having weight, you know, without holding weights in our hands. All right. And coming up right, moving your arms, moving your hands. Bringing your hands together behind you and pulsing them up a little bit. And then bringing one arm in front and holding the straight arm in front of you or bending the arm and pushing a little bit, just a little bit, the elbow just to feel that stretch in the back part of the shoulder and changing sides, the other arm, keeping it straight, and just gently pulling it toward you or gently pushing on the elbow. Just feeling that in the, in the back of the shoulders. And once again, a little bit of an arch in the back, palms toward the back, and just pulsing, pulsing the hands back, moving the neck a little bit side to side, and some circles with the neck. Sending one hand in front of you, fingers toward the ceiling, and then pulling back, pulling back on the fingers, and then fingers down, and gently pulling back on the hand. And we're just stretching the forearms here, the other hand, Fingers up, pull back on the fingers, and fingers down, pulling back on the hand. And coming back into the chair. And just sort of moving both legs. these muscles to loosen up, bringing one foot back, bending forward, pulling your toes back with the extended leg, moving the foot from side to side. 
And then the foot come to stillness and just bending a little bit more forward. Try to keep your back pretty straight. So not trying to put your head on your leg, just stretch the back of the leg. All right. And the other side. Moving, moving the foot side to side a little bit with that stretch. And then letting the foot come to stillness. And then forward a little bit more. Just feeling that stretch in the back of the leg. Feet on the floor and bringing one knee up. Moving this foot a little bit. And then putting that foot on the other leg. We're crossing the leg if this isn't the posture that, that your body is happy with. Moving the bottom leg a little bit side to side, engaging the foot, coming to stillness and leaning forward. And you don't have to lean far just to feel this stretch in the hip and Susan. Feeling, feeling that. And you, then if you want, Moving, moving the bottom foot a little bit. Not much. You don't want to stretch these ligaments more than they're willing to go. All right, and then putting that foot down, bringing the other knee up. And then putting that foot on top of the leg, foot flexed. Just moving that bottom leg. Just you bring a little movement into the, the deep hip joint that these muscles and ligaments sort of soften a little. And then coming to stillness and bending forward just until you feel a deep stretch in the hip. If it's painful, don't do it, of course. But just to get a little bit of a stretch in there. All right, coming back. Once again, just extending both legs. And swing them up. And coming back just to a to a seated posture. And just pause here for a little bit. Feet on the floor, hands on your legs. Put your chin in a little bit. Let your shoulders be back. Your face relax. Just feel inside your body. Feeling the aliveness in the body. The movement of the breath from inside the body. Gentle expanding and relaxing of the chest and the belly. Noticing areas of warmth in the body, areas of movement. And maybe a lot of places where you're, you can feel your pulse, your fingers. 
inside to your elbows. I'm appreciating the the aftermath of, of the movement. Your body thanking you for for this. <laughs> Taking a couple of deep breaths and Just appreciating what your body has just done for you.